Alright my friends, it's Krabs here, we're taking a look at this spaceship in Space Engineers. This is the Kraken. You cannot look at this thing and not think that this looks like a giant sea squid or a Kraken. I mean, just look at the shape of it. And especially these boars in this mouth over here, this is giant. <laughs> Uh, and actually, that was a little bit of a lie. We're not taking a look at the Kraken. We're actually taking a look at a littler ship that comes of this one called the Scorpion. And the reason why we're not taking a look at this is because I still need to figure out how this thing actually works. There's no instructions that came with it. Uh, but it, it is immense. It's supposed to be some sort of giant mining ship, I think. Ooh, I don't want to even go inside that mouth. Too scary. <laughs> it's supposed to be some sort of giant mining ship. And it and features a lot of new new parts that they've added into the game since we last made uh, our last video. Uh, and, you know, they've only added in a few parts, but they've made a huge difference to what you can actually make. So, for example, you've got these rotors over here. See these things? These rotors? And now you've got all these, like, uh, detachable parts or parts over here that are attached to these rotors. And that means they can actually turn. So, you'll have to see this when I'm actually flying the ship, but... It's based on momentum, and when this ship is going forward, it'll be like this, but as soon as you start pulling back, these will close in. It looks really, really cool. Rotors, yes, the, the potential of rotors is amazing. Uh, <laughs> but they've also added in some more deconstructed stuff, like warheads, Gatling guns, rocket launchers. So the, the game is finally getting some meat on its bone. Uh, but let, you know what, guys? Let's, without ado, let's, let's go and... Uh, fly the ship to our destination, which is just around the corner. Going through the back, there's the cockpit, and I'm ready to pilot this beast. <laughs> here we go. Just zoom on out. This is what the Kraken looks like here. Yeah, that's what the Kraken looks like. And now you'll see when we fly forward, those arms at the front, they stay like that. And then as soon as I start pulling back, look, they start closing in. Look at that momenta. Momentum. They don't crash into each other. I think there's some sort of limiting mechanism on this thing that doesn't allow them to crash into each other at all. Oh, that is so cool. I think it's supposed to be like you ram into an asteroid and then you start mining it with the actual ship. Um, and, and, and that is really just really, really cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to fly now to a smaller area where... Where the uh, scorpion is located, and I can see it just over there. All right, so there we have it. The scorpion's just outside. Oh, this thing's still rotating. You can see that from just standing still. It's rotating. <laughs> it still has a bit of momentum going. Looks so cool, this thing, doesn't it? Let's get our jetpack on. Fly out here. And hello, Mr. Scorpion. <laughs> look at this thing. See, and you'll understand why it's going to look like a scorpion. Doesn't look, really look like much right now, but you see that tail? It's following the same sort of idea with this rotor stuff. Look at that. Look at that. All right. Now, before we actually fly this out, we need to, we need to, or use it, we need to fly it over to an asteroid because it's actually a mining ship as well, a tiny one. So let's get inside the cockpit. And actually, I want to show you guys what the Gatling guns look like. Let's take a look at this. Bit of combat. Let's fire at this thing, whatever it is. Boom, 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 <laughs> Minimal firepower. It's not that strong. This is only two little guns. Oh, wow. Get wrecked, son. <laughs> so whatever that ship was, uh... Yeah, it's not looking too good. So, so let's go fly out to this asteroid over here. Can we actually go out into... Ooh, ooh switch to weapon type projectile. I don't know. Strange, I don't think we can actually uh, change views here. Unfortunately, but we're almost at the rock. Let's go on the lighter side so you guys can see this. Uh... 
<laughs> Here comes Krebsy trying to do a landing. Oh, gonna have to drop down, just like just like the moon lunar landing. Oh, oh, we have almost touched down. Actually, to be honest, we don't even need to touch down. We can just use the uh, the drill without having to touch down. But okay, there we go. We got contact. We got contact. So let's get out over here. And this is where we're positioned right now. And so once we're ready to start mining, we get inside the back of here, which actually has another cockpit. All right. All right. <clears throat> and now we can look third person. But nothing happens when you first get into it. <clears throat> what you have to do is activate the power supply and also deactivate the oh geez how do we do this again here we go oh oh shit I didn't do it right I didn't do it right <laughs> I need to take off the I need to go back inside this cockpit and turn off the landing gear because I think it's magnetic there we go I think I turned off the landing gear and now we'll have free room so it, it, it's, it's it works on magnetic landing gears and you can Stay together in place. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Look at this thing. How cool is that? How cool is that? And now we just use these little jet engines to move around. <laughs> it's like, it's like Lego blocks in space. It's absolutely awesome. The only problem is it's just kind of hard to control because I don't know, just the way that it, it's like. It's kind of hard to explain exactly what it's like. But what we do is, okay, actually, let's go inside the cockpit. We just get closer to our target. I would like to go this way, please. No, it's not letting me. Okay, so we'll start to bore down into uh, this rock. We'll get our drill ready, number two. Here we go. Let's start boring into some rock. Yeah. <laughs> How cool is that? You have to admit that that is pretty damn cool what they've made. And so you get out, you go collect your rock and whatnot. Uh, I don't know if there's supposed to be like, something more sophisticated, like a sophisticated way to actually, you know, grab a lot of stuff, a lot of these rocks at once or whatever. But uh, you know, the job is not done. Once you've picked up all your rocks, you have to park this back into place. So here comes Krebsy's attempt to try and pack this up. I can't even remember exactly how it was packed up. <laughs> I think we were, I think it was uh, spinning the other way around. So let's just move this way. Move, 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 move. Oh, oh gosh. And now we need to push ourselves inwards, I guess. Nope, that's the wrong way. <laughs> and down. We're almost there! Look at this folding go! Ah! Oh. Down! Down! We're almost there! It's like it's like doing reverse parking! <laughs> and you go into opposite modes now. Here we go! Look at that! Turn the landing gear on. Now let's get out. There we go, it's nice and neatly packed up. Wow. Talk about innovation. These people who make this stuff are just so smart. Not only does it look awesome, it actually looks like a scorpion and whatnot, but I mean, that is functionality right there. That is just so sweet. That is so cool. I, I can't even, that's all I can say. And then you just go fly it back to your Kraken main ship and happy days, right? Actually, I wonder if we can go in here and just shoot up rock. Maybe that would be easier. Let's just go inside and shoot up some rock. Well, that's one way to drill. <laughs> it doesn't make any rocks, though. That sucks. <laughs> so anyway, guys, we'll end it there, because this was a really cool showcase of the scorpion. I want to figure out how to use that crack, and I think that'll be a lot of fun to show you guys. So anyway, guys, until next time, this is Grebzy, and I'll catch you all later. Thank you.